Hi, you know, dear, my people, welcome back. This is your boy, Gadam Slink. I hope you're know, day. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, here's the news getting to us. I know all my friends in the UK may have possibly been witnessing a massive deportation of Africans, most especially Nigerians. You know, I'm way concerned about Nigerians. Massive deportation. I think as of last week, as at last week, the UK government deported about four, 44 Nigerians. 44 Nigerians, including Ghana and other nationals, but 44 Nigerians were deported. And in the coming weeks, they are still looking to deport more of those Nigerians. Well, it's quite unfortunate. Just imagine saving that many millions, many, 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 many millions just to go over there and get deported back. It's a serious issue. A serious matter. A serious setback. After spending millions, we all know it's not easy to leave this country. It's not easy to jackpot. And if you want to jackpot, you should jackpot to a good country. You can nowadays, there's no able to consider among the best countries to jackpot to. But then again, it's extremely expensive. It's kind of like easier to jackpot to UK uh, than to jackpot to USA, Canada, and some other countries. So that is why Nigeria see it as an easy route. Some Africa see it as an easy route. It's not as if they really want to settle down in UK. They see it as a, as a step. As a step, then from there, they can find a way to move to a better country that is suitable for them. After spending millions of millions upon millions upon millions because of the flight and again visa application and so many other things, it may say some even said their property to travel just to end up getting deported. Come on, man. That is a bad business, a bad investment. It's quite unfortunate. I really feel pity for them. For those people, and if you check, the people made it the deported, and people made they actually get something good to offer. You know, they get they have this clear vision on how to go about in UK, do their work peacefully, you no know, work peacefully, go to school and do everything peacefully without bothering anybody. Those are the people that easily get the bad luck and get deported. Deportation means all your property there you are living into, you don't have access to it. Like if you rent a house there and the house is for like a year and you get deported now, you are going to leave the house. Your pot, your stove, your everything just being there. It's not as if they will tell you, oh, you will be deported so, so, so time and yet and you will be moving around the UK. They will arrest you first, put you in detention. Then before they will call the fans, they will deport you. You don't even think about that, your pot, your television, your thing that you can easily sell. No, that one not the day at all. If you are expecting your weekly pay, and you get the day you are about to be paid, and you get deported, and you get arrested for deportation, eh, that money is gone. I don't know about the bank, though, your bank money, if, if you have money in the bank. But how is it even possible to open a bank account when you do not have documents? You understand? I feel really, really sad because the victims of these are people who really have clear vision. They, they, they don't want any issue, any issue at all. They are the ones that easily get bad luck and get deported. Meanwhile, the rugged ones who know their way now. No, 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 no. They don't inform, they don't run. Now, they, they know they ever see the deport. They know they ever see them deport. Now, only few of them are the see. Uh, that is bad market, oh. bad investment. You see a family, we sell their house, sell their land, sell so many things, amounted to, to millions, and they will invest it on traveling out just to get deported years later. The people were very unlucky. Very, very unlucky to the point that they travel this month. Next month, they catch them, say they will be deported because they are staying at just uh, for for conference, a conference that will last for just a month. A 
conference that will last for just a month. And not to also think about the money, because if you are going for a conference that will last a month, you should have your going and return ticket. You, already, you have already decided to sacrifice like 1.5 million or 2 million naira. Just throw me out like that for return ticket. Because you know you are not returning. So that one alone is already gone. Ah, now, wow, people made it travel out uh, without... Uh, ah, did they try? I don't know if you make that kind of uh, risk, honestly. I cannot have such money eh, and just de decided to move. Oh. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't. But it's a huge risk that comes with huge cost. I wish them all the best. Coming to Nigeria to start over again. In fact, I will, I will read you a particular guy, a story. This guy is among the people that is facing the deportation. According to this guy, he said, I have fought many battles in the past years. And I have decided... I will no longer subject myself and, and my loved ones to this emotional torture anymore. One of these battles was falling to a scam and losing my entire savings to a Nigerian who I trust to procure and process documents for her and family to live and work in the UK. Despite knowing my situation, this fellow went ahead to swingle me knowing well that he would not fulfill the obligation for which the payment was made and has gone since gone. I sincerely don't want to be subjected. I sincerely don't want to be returned to Nigeria. Listen, he said, I sincerely don't want to be returned to Nigeria because my life will be in jeopardy. But at this point, I have to leave it all in the hands of God. Because I have done what I can, do, I can as a human, all to no avail. If it is God's will that I return to Nigeria, then let it be. I want to thank everyone who have supported me in this journey, and especially, okay, mention the name, for the extra effort they have put in for me behind the scene, I really do not take this for granted. And I hope that one way or the other, I will repay you back someday. If you don't hear from me by the end of November, then I have been deported to Nigeria and most likely arrested by Nigeria authority. Uh, what do you do like that? Let this therefore serve as an SOS in advance. I will still be in touch, best regard. In exactly nine days, I'm required to leave the UK where I had filed flee to after being targeted by Nigeria authority over news published on my media organization, Reports News in August 23, for which I and my family were treated very unjustly. 2 a.m., awake, confused, paranoid. I don't want to be sent back to Nigeria. Not after what I and my family were subjected to. So I don't know what did this guy do, what kind of publication he published, but the guy is about to be deported back to Nigeria. And they just informing you guys that as soon as he gets to Nigeria, they are going to get him arrested. He has a verified Twitter account. And not just only that, he said he paid somebody in Nigeria and in UK to help him to get a stay for himself and his family. But the person swindled, swindled him. That is coming of that money. The crazy part about most of all those things is that Nigerians, now they do Nigerians. Mostly in Nigeria. I'm just mainly focused on Nigeria. They deported so many other nationals, so, but I'm focused on Nigerians. Now, Nigerians, they do Nigerians. Nigerians, please, eh? UK, no be your papas. You understand? UK, no be your fathers. Ordinarily, self, I don't even see why UK are deporting Nigerians. They don't have a right to deport any Nigerians. Because 
If you check your history, check your history as UK and see the countries you colonize. How dare you deport the country you colonize? If you say, if you are saying that you are not superior to that country, how dare you come to a country you colonize, carry a lot of things, and there you have the right to deport them? You don't have that right. Ideally, you don't get that right to deport anybody. But then, they, they deport. And the Nigerians, they pull most of all those people for problem. Nigerians. Nigerians, eh? since it be like this, eh? please, pass information around. Hmm? We are the other day, we have a Nigerian, uh, the guy, they say they deport the guy, may go reveal secrets of Nigeria, a bad student. Say so students know they actually come UK come study. Students will just come there, come just uh, continue their life. They, 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 no one go back. Meanwhile, at the same way in to take up. Nigerians and Nigerians, please, eh, we should pass information around, secretly pass information about those kind of things. So other Nigerians can help. Because if you check UK, eh, it, they are not in the right place to deport anybody. Anybody. There is flooded by Arabs, India, so many other nationals. No be only Nigeria. You understand? They don't have the right. We knew. Well, that is what it is, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, the link. Catch you next time. Peace.